Hi, my name is Michał Bruz and today I'm going to talk about hygienic couplings. I'm going to show you the most common couplings designed for food, cosmetical, pharmaceutical, chemical industry and biotechnology. Depending on the application, the coupling must have certain hygienic characteristics. It must be made of specific material, must be easy to clean and sterilize. Hygienic pipelines and couplings are typically made of 304 and 316 stainless steel. The design of the coupling must be free of any kind of crevices, dead spaces, angular bands and rough surfaces because they are difficult to clean. Product particles may be retained in this spot and encourage the growth of microorganisms. I have prepared five house assemblies with five different hygienic couplings. If the fitting of the coupling has a corrugated hose tail and is used on a rubber hose, then you can mount it with a safety clamp or crimp it with a ferrule. While for a smooth hose tail used on rubber and plastic hoses, use safety clamps. So, let's take a closer look at these couplings. The first type is DIN 11851 couplings which in this particular example is scrimped with a ferrule on a PTFE coroflon hose. These couplings are widely used in the dairy, food and chemical industry. They are threaded couplings with round RD treat edges. They are two coupling parts, a male and a female part. They come with D-shaped steel made of EPDM rubber, silicon and BL rubber or Viton. The couplings are available in diameter from 10 to 150 mm. The maximum allowable working pressure of the coupling is 580 PCI for diameters from 10 to 40 mm, 362 PSI for diameters from 50 to 100 mm, and 232 PSI for diameters from 125 to 150 mm. Another type of coupling is SMS coupling, also mounted on PTFE coroflon hose, but this time in steel braid. These couplings are very similar to DIN couplings. They also consist of two different parts, a female and male part, a seal and a cup. They are used in dairy and food industry. They also have round RD treat. The couplings are designed for pipes according to ISO 2037 standard. They have a flat ceiling face, so pipeline section can be easily dismantled for cleaning. A standard seal has a square cross section and comes in PTFE, Viton, EPDM or NBR rubber. The couplings are made of 316 steel. Their maximum working pressure is 217 PSI. They are available in diameters from 25 to 100 mm. To distinguish these two couplings quickly and easily, you have to check the profile of the nuts first. The bevel edge of SMS nut is longer and at a smaller angle that than of DIN couplings. SMS nut has more characteristic slots. The end of the coupling is flared at 90 degrees, unlike DIN couplings. Another coupling, perhaps not as popular as the previous two, is IDF coupling. Here, the coupling is mounted on the master milk hose assembly. As you can easily guess, this hose assembly is intended for milk transfer as is IDF coupling. It is used in the dairy industry and food industry. The coupling has a tapered thread. It is designed for pipes according to BS4825-4 standard. The coupling contains a rubber seal with T-shaped cross section, which perfectly fills up the surface between mating parts for effectively safe cleaning and relative high level of hygiene. It's made of 360 stainless steel, maximum allowable working pressure is 232 PSI. The couplings come in diameters from 25 to 100 mm. Another but not last coupling I'm going to show you today is RGT coupling. It's mounted on Scotland House assembly intended for example for alcohol. RGT couplings are very popular in dairy industry and food industry in the UK. They are threaded, the treats are of withward form. This coupling, as all previous ones, consists of two parts, female and male, and seal and a nut. And thicker ring in NBR or PDM rubber seals the couplings. It can be easily dismantled. As the crevices is pretty large, the couplings are not particularly suitable for cleaning in place. Their maximum working pressure is 145 PSI. These couplings, just like IDF couplings, come in size from 25 to 100 mm. 
and the last coupling, which is quite popular partly because of the way it is installed, is triclover or triclamp coupling. This particular coupling is crimped with a ferrule on a silicon hose. The couplings are symmetrical flange. You can notice that there is no nut. Here a very handy clamp is used to connect the two flanges really fast. As you can see, this specific shape seal sits precisely in the grooves of the flange. The seal in silicon, PTFE, Byton, EPDM or NPR rubber entirely fills up the crevice between two flanges and thus ensures unrestricted flow path and very high level of hygienic of the coupling. That is why true rubber couplings are used in many applications in pharmaceutical industry, cosmetical and biotechnology, for liquid and high viscosity media. It's specific to true rubber couplings that the outer diameter of the flange and inner diameter of the outlet correspond to each other and to the inner diameter of the pipes in the pipeline. They are made of 360 stainless steel. Generally, true rubber couplings feature very high internal surface finish. The working pressure for the couplings alone depends on the size of the couplings and type of clamp. It's 232 psi minimum up to 2 inch size, 145 psi for size above 2 inch. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our channel for more videos.